morning children today we are going to start a new chapter this is the chapter 2 from your book and its name is long and short as the name suggests we are going to talk about the length length and height so you already have studied length and height in class 3 so children i have got this scale for you this is a steel scale and i am sure many of you use it there is another plastic scale which you use it with the help of these scales we measure the length of different lines line segments and in our previous chapter we had studied about line and line segments okay now when the things become longer than these scales you know if a line is longer than the scale so there are different ways to measure it you can measure it with this scale also a longer line you can measure it with this scale but there are different things like this it is called an inch tape why we call it as uh, an inch tape is because this side the divisions are in inch and on this side we have divisions marked in centimeters as well as in inch and children you know we use centimeters for measuring different lengths so see children this is the inch tape and it is starting from here this is the zero and i'll just tell you uh this is uh, 160 cm long this inch tape is 160 cm long and with some carpenters and masons and all you must have seen this kind of uh, inch tape so this is made of metal it is still longer see it's longer than it's quite long it is folded inside so this is also used for measuring the length of doors windows sometime the length of the room and all those things right we are going to use these things in our explanation of the chapter okay children now i am going to teach you a game you know children sometimes they get bored so they can play very nice games where they learn also and it's a game also so that i am going to teach you with the help of this chart paper where i have drawn some points so i am going to show you how to play this game right now so let's start children you are supposed to take a paper it can be a big paper or a small paper depends on you whatever is available to you now what you are supposed to do you have to make points the way you can see on my paper so you i have made a here then b here c here you can make in the way you want to make and point is basically a dot and you have to name these point with capital english alphabets now what is the game all about two or three people can play this game or even more people can play the game you have to guess the distance between any two points and after guessing the distance you have to measure it on a notebook you will write down the accurate distance as well as your guessed distance after that you have to find out the difference between the accurate distance and the guessed distance so children whichever distance is bigger suppose i'll just tell you suppose you have guessed that the distance between i and e suppose you have guessed that the distance between i and e is 7 cm and when you actually measure it is suppose 6 cm so 7 minus 6 One centimeter is the difference. Suppose you have guessed that the distance between E and B is twelve centimeter, but the actual distance between B 
E and B is 15 centimeter. Then you will subtract 15 minus 12 equal to 3 centimeter. Now, in this game, the person whose difference is the least will be the winner. Now, you must be wondering, the games are normally such that the person who scores more is the winner. But here, children, if the difference is less you will be the winner why because you have guessed it as accurately as possible it means your guess is very very close to the accurate distance so let me teach you how to measure the distance okay i am going to measure the distance between i and e so you have to keep your scale in such a manner that your zero is coinciding coinciding means it is just beside one point and you can even draw a line like this press the scale nicely and draw a line like this now this distance is five 5 centimeter and 6 millimeter so this distance is 5 centimeter and 6 millimeter so we can call it 5.6 centimeter both ways it is correct you can call it 5 centimeter 6 millimeter or 5.6 centimeter okay let us measure the distance between E and B. Oh, my guess was not good. Children, do you remember I also made a guess? My guess was not good. And the distance between E and B is 16 centimeter and 7 millimeter 16 centimeter and 7 millimeter or 16.7 centimeter so children this is how you can play the game you can guess the distance between different points and after guessing you can find out the difference with the help of scale suppose some points are very very far like G and K. You can see G and K. My scale cannot reach there. So what you can do? You can use an inch tape like this. And with the help of the inch tape, you can measure the distance between G and K. And I'll just tell you the distance between G and K is 54 centimeter and 5 millimeter or 54.5 this is 54 this is 54 i'll just show you this is 54 and this is half so this is 54.5 centimeter this is how you are supposed to measure the distance so children this is one thing the game. Now I will tell you a very very interesting story about Akbar and Birbal. One day King Akbar drew a line and he wanted to test his minister Birbal. So he asked him Birbal without rubbing or without cutting this line you have to make this line short how can you make this line short without cutting and without rubbing so Birbal started thinking he thought there must be some trick in this now Birbal was very very intelligent and clever so what he did he said okay Shahenshah I am going to make this line shorter he took a scale 
and kept it in front of that line and drew another line which was longer than the line king had drawn and then birbal told him almighty see my line is longer than your line this was birbal's line and this was akbar's line he said my line is longer than your line so now your line is shorter akbar was very very happy and he patted him and he said great birbal you are very very intelligent so children birbal also taught us something he taught us that the lines can go on and on and on if you want you can also draw another line which is longer than birbal's line and then birbal's line will become short so dear children lines can go in both the direction and they can go on and on and on so there is no longest line in the world but line segments these are line segments since they have end points this is the end point of akbar's line and these are the end points of birbal's line so these are line segments and when we make arrows they become lines so the line can be extended in both the directions and they can go on and on and there is no longest line in the world so children this was fun i'm sure you must have enjoyed it but i request you that please play this game you will really really enjoy it and you will learn in the in the bargain you will learn how to measure lines okay children thank you very much have a great day